Hi, this is Simon Judd. There's just one aspect of our work which is much more easily explained if you can actually see it. So I'm just going to run through it now. So here we have our membrane channel face on so you can actually see what's happening inside. It's filled with sludge at three different concentrations from 15 grams per litre on the left to 23 grams per litre on the right. And I'm just going to run this uh, video so you can see what happens to those air bubbles as they pass through that channel. So you can see that for one thing the bubbles at the two highest concentrations are actually larger than the ones being produced at the lowest concentration but also the bubbles at the lowest concentration on the left hand side there are scouring more or less the whole area of the membrane whereas if you look at the runs the ones being generated the two higher concentrations they are tending to sort of veer towards the center of the membrane channel and that means that at the end of the experiment once you drain the sludge and have a look at those channels you find that the two highest concentrations there is a definite pattern developed where at the sides of the membrane channels that is where you find the clogged solids and also a bit in the center between the two ports of the coarse bubble aerator. So really what that demonstrates is that sludge concentration has quite a significant impact on sludging. If you just look at the same membrane channel at the lowest concentration, there wouldn't be any sign of any sludging at all. And that's basically it.